All right, so I've never done one of these before. We're gonna do a reaction video because the game has just dropped a song called The Black Slim Shady and it runs at 10 minutes and 25 seconds. A staggering 231 bars. I mean, I've never climbed Everest and I'll probably never run a marathon, but uh, I feel like all the hip hop I've listened to in my entire life has just prepped me for this moment to just get through this slog. You know, I, I don't really understand what the game's obsession with Eminem still is. I can't remember the last time Eminem said or did anything related to the game. I don't think Eminem cares about the game. Uh, I can't remember the last time he dissed him. I know that this is what the game does. He says wild shit. You know, there's some wild bars on here. I've already read some of the lyrics. Uh, people are already tweeting about them because they're just insane. But I want to see if the game has anything here. You know, I think the game is one of the more underrated rappers. He has one of the best discographies in hip hop, one of the most underrated. I don't think any album he's dropped has been a, below a 7.5 out of 10. But you can't deny he's a great rapper. Why is he coming at Eminem again? Is it just for clout? Does he have anything to say? Is there anything of value here? I'm gonna get into it. I got the lyrics up in front of me. I'm gonna I'm gonna react in real time. I'm real time while we listen to this. You're gonna see me. I'm not gonna I'm gonna speed through the listening because I'm not gonna play it because I'll probably get it taken down. But yeah, I mean let's just jump in here. Let's see what happens. Oh, Eight Mile, kind of close to Eight Mile, you know, Eminem, Eight Mile, the, the movie, the soundtrack, Eight Mile, G, -g, 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 -g unit. Like, all I can think of when I think of that is that Chappelle show skit, G, -g, 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 -g unit. Like, yeah, anyway, we continue here. We've got Hip Boy on this. He managed to get Hip Boy on this? Who else produced this track? <sighs> okay. I don't think, I mean, he sounds like he's just mimicking a 50 cent flow on the hook. I don't think this has anything to do with Eminem. A lot of people were saying that he was trying to imitate Eminem on the hook and, and trying to like get into his flow. Maybe he'll do that in the verses, but yeah, the, the hook just sounds like an early era 50 cent hook. Uh, I know that he's doing, hi, I'm the black slim shady, get it? Hi, I'm slim, like, and then he does the chicka 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 chicka, like the Eminem used to... It's 2022 game. Come on. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> who? He's sticking what in who? In what? Um, I mean, obviously, the first section is Eminem did a whole album criticizing the critics who criticized an album that even M said even Eminem said he he didn't like. So I understand that, boy. Yeah, we're going What? <laughs> well, the game and Kevin Gates need to do a collab album together because they say some wild, wild shit. They say some wild shit, man. Fucking hell. This man has no shame. <laughs> We don't need to hear the chorus again and again. We the chorus, we can skip the chorus. It's a ten minute song. We don't need to hear the chorus over and over again. Game, it's cool. What is this song? Like I don't understand. I, this is not a diss track. Like at the start of this second verse, he's mimicking Eminem's flow. Very well done, by the way. And you know, kind of the content that Slim Shady was doing early in his career. So he's definitely got the message. He's got the memo. He understands what he's doing. He understands what Slim Shady was. I mean, this was Eminem's alter ego to say the wildest stuff. I mean, you know, the whole premise of D12 was to create these alter egos that these rappers have that give them the opportunity to say the, the wildest stuff, the craziest stuff, you know, the stuff that they would never say, uh, they would never even think to say. So we're definitely getting that. And you know, for the first five or six bars of this second verse, he sounds like Eminem, but then we're getting this like, I don't know, I don't think I've heard Eminem rap this way. So I'm I'm confused, I had a slice of humble pie, couldn't taste it last. 
these bars aren't bad. They're, they're not bad. It's just they don't really make sense. It doesn't seem like he's dissing Eminem. I don't understand how he is. Anyway, we'll continue. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did he say? Why does he say that? <laughs> Why does his dick get little on the internet? I, I... It... <laughs> Man, this man is, is wild. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, like <laughs> you can't deny that this shit is funny as hell. Like the game is such. He say what you want. You're not gonna be bored listening to a game album. <laughs> NFT and crypto mention. You know, I hope you got the bag for that. Here we go. We got the we got the interlude. Oh, they got Eminem on that one. Oh, they killing him. I used to I used to think Eminem was the rap god, but I don't like his new stuff. They're reading from my freaking notes, man. Stop stealing from my test. I've been saying that for years. Game. Game been on my Twitter account. He knows exactly what I've been saying. Okay, so it's kind of like that skit from Relapse. Uh, Tonya, I think, before Same Song and Dance came on, where I think it's Tonya. It could be... So- let me let me Google it. I don't want to get in trouble here. Um, you know, uh, where the, the woman's on the side of the road and she's broken down and Eminem rocks up. and Yeah, Tonya, Same Song and Dance. And Eminem gets in the car and or she gets in the car with Eminem and he ties her up and then does yeah okay we get it you know okay okay well we'll we continue we're pushing forth where are we up three minutes 52 seconds <sighs> do i look tired i'm tired here we go but i'm just confused like i'm, I'm confused as to what his point is here like what is he trying to say uh, let's just jump into some, let's have a look here. I mean, obviously there's, you know, it kind of sounds like, um, it kind of, the beat here kind of sounds like if I had a rock bottom of some shady LP a little bit, like the one with, uh, Life by Marshall Mathers. Yeah, if I had, if I had, it sounds like if I had, uh, and I think that that's what he's trying to do here. Um, and then obviously he's kind of interspersing his own experience and his own struggles in the mid 2000s with what Eminem was going through. You know, Eminem was going through the loss of proof. He was struggling with drug addiction. And Dr. Dre is saying, you know, he was left for dead on De- Doctor's Advocate, uh, that Dr. Dre never executive produced it. And we always know kind of what happened with game in the mid 2000s late 2000s where he kind of had a falling out with dr dre someone he idolized and someone he referenced so many times on wax um he's referencing d'angelo bailey of course here you know the 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 bully that eminem had a fight with in school that he references on probably uh, i want to say one of those songs on slim shady lp let's just continue here because now he's going to be talking about aftermath and it's possible that what his criticism here is that I just I think I have I have a little bit of a theory here. I want to I want to listen to the rest of this track or the rest of this verse. Okay, so now we're going to get into the petty stuff, but I think in the middle here it's really interesting. You know, he really seems to be going into, uh, you know, pass me the torch because the torch in my mind with the voice that defied rhymes will force the blind eye. To see that I was in the white rolls with five nine, right rolls royce with five nines when you was pretending to be the white royce to five nine. I think the game is showing a little bit of pettiness and a little bit of jealousy, and I don't think he's trying to hide that. You know, I don't think that that's something the game doesn't seem to be. He doesn't seem to have any shame. He just says what he says, and I think there's a lot of jealousy on here as well. Might just force the white guy to call D12 so he can be the pork they grind swine and the biggest rap in Detroit. That award is Sean Don. So I uncork the Chardonnay and stick my fork in white wine. I never, and then we get into the pettiness. Uh, you know, I never heard you in a club. I never heard you in a bar. That's always a criticism of Eminem. A lot of people say that no one's playing Eminem in the in the in the clubs, in the bars, in the streets. Uh, you're not hearing him when you're driving along. Um, 
I'd rather listen to Snitch 9 like 69 times and you participate in 69 with 69 nuns that listen to you. You're a Karen, call the cops, tell them it's a black man on your block with a Glock. He got it cocked. I'll continue listening. I mean, that was pretty funny, the Epstein Island thing. Like, it kind of sounds like, ah, just lose it. Ah, just lose it. Go crazy. I mean, obviously, I mean, what was Just Lose It? Didn't he, didn't he criticize Eminem? Uh, sorry, Michael Jackson, was that Just Lose It? Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'll keep going, I guess. I understand why you have to bring Haley back into it again. This is just stupid. Um, you know, I know that Ja Rule did it and it was edgy. And then, you know, people say that Ja Rule criticized, uh, you know, what Ja Rule kind of ended his career because of that. There's no reason to do that. That's stupid. I don't understand that at all. We continue onwards. Like, look, the end of this verse is just stupid because, you know, you can say what you want, game. You can say that you don't think Eminem is top five. Firstly, you can't say that in Notorious Big's eyes because Notorious Big passed away before Eminem blew up. Tupac passed away before Eminem blew up. Um, there's no, you can't say that. Andre, no nah, stop telling white lies. He references Jay-Z, obviously. I Suge Knight, Vanilla Ice, I'm not Mr. Nice Guy. Like, he's basically saying, I don't think you're part of the culture. He says it explicitly. 23 years still ain't penetrating the culture. You were not top five in mine, big or puck's eyes. Like, this is just silliness. Like, you know, you can hold this opinion if you want, but there's no facts here. There's no, there's, there's nothing of value being said here. You're just saying, I don't like Eminem's music. I think you're a culture vulture. Well, I, I assume that's what he's trying to say. You're a culture vulture. You're never going to be part of the culture. Uh, they bring up his whiteness over and over again here. The game is always you're white. You're white. You know, white lines, white lies. You know, okay, Eminem's white. We get it, man. Like, I understand. Like, tell me why he's not part of the culture other than he's white. Tell me why he's not in your top five other than the fact that he's white. Tell me why. Like, are you saying he's not a good rapper? Are you saying you're a better rapper then? Show me something. Give me something here. This is just whinging. Hopefully, we get into the fourth verse and we actually hear something of value. Look, I'm not Eminem's biggest fan. Do not get me wrong. I'm not an Eminem fan in 2022 at all. But. This is just pointless. This is I've I've wasted what six minutes of my life listening to this. Uh, now he's referencing Stir Crazy, obviously Eminem and the Mad Rapper. Okay. Like what's what? This is just stupid. I I don't get this. Like he's bringing in. Kim, he's bringing in Eminem's mum, his half brother. He says, "When I, I told you when I was in Detroit, I wanted to go to Eight Mile because when I was little to get some Eminems, I had to walk eight miles." What? I, I, you wouldn't leave the studio. Your life's on a loop. That's why I'm in doggy. St You'd rather bump Snoop. Well, good for you. Good. For, like, come on now, man. Wait, so you're saying that, wait, are you saying 50 Cent wrote Eminem's rhymes or you would rather 50 Cent write Eminem's rhymes for him? In 2022, when was the last time 50 Cent dropped a hot verse? 50 Cent doesn't even write rhymes anymore. He just does power all the time. Like, the man is transitioned out of the rap game. Are you saying that that 50 Cent wrote bars for Eminem? He wrote hooks for Eminem? Like, what are you saying here? I don't understand. Tell him to clip the wounds of my butterfly tat, force him back in the cocoon. Now, does he still rap or does he have a change of heart too? The chick on the show wasn't picking me and Mariah wasn't picking you, so the cannons is blam, blam. And what are you talking about? Uh, I just don't get this. I've listened to the song. Um, I don't think this is a diss track because I, I just don't... 
I don't see any 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 criticism any valid criticisms. I'm not seeing any facts. I'm not seeing any hidden meanings. I'm not seeing you know. It seems like the game is just mad that Eminem has ascended to the level that he ascended, and doesn't feel like he's put in the time and effort and energy to get to that level. Uh, there's a lot of criticisms of the fact that he's white and you know cultural appropriation, and it seems like the game is critical of the fact that a white rapper has ascended to that level when you know black rappers are being held back. Uh, because of the color of their skin, which is a valid criticism, it's valid. But like, what what are you what are you gonna do about it? You know, you, you that's not really criticism of Eminem. That's criticism of systemic oppression in America. That's criticism of, uh, you know, the surface level listeners. Um, you're criticizing mainstream media. You're criticizing record labels. You're criticizing uh, radio stations who are gonna prioritize playing. You know, someone like Jack Harlow, we only have to listen to the mid-tier trash that Jack Harlow is putting out. But the criticism doesn't hold weight because back in the early 2000s and the late 90s when Eminem was really blowing up and exploding, there was no one out there doing what he was doing on that level. Yes, we had incredible lyricists around. I mean, he said, you know, he references Royce to 5'9 and saying that Eminem was the white Royce. But Royce didn't have that hit-making ability back then. He didn't have the ability to mold his vocals he didn't have the edginess that Eminem had. He didn't have the, whether it was the bravery or the creativity, to just say the wildest shit. I mean, listen to Bad Meets Evil, the, one of the first collaborations they ever had. I mean, Eminem skates on that. Eminem always skated on those songs with Royce. And yes, I do think that Royce always held his own with Eminem from a lyrical standpoint, but just from an entertainment standpoint. And I think that that's the point that Game is really missing here. You know, I do understand his... His, I'm not going to call it jealousy because he doesn't outright say it, but it certainly feels like he's jealous. He feels like Dr. Dre should have gone in his direction rather than Eminem's direction. You know, we've all heard that Game has not been happy with the way that Dr. Dre, I'm not going to say like left him out in the cold. He does say that here, but like, you know, not executive producing Doctor's Advocate and kind of dipping out of Game's life. Uh, after the G-Unit criticism, after the getting kicked out of G-Unit, his issues with 50 Cent. If Dr. Dre had to choose a side. Whose side do you think he's going to choose? Do you think he's going to choose the man who's selling a million copies, or two rappers who were selling a million copies first week, Eminem and 50 Cent? Or is he going to choose the game who sold, you know, 500,000 first week with the documentary, but 50 Cent wrote a lot of that, you know? So, of course, he's going to go with, with 50 Cent and Eminem. That's just the way it is. So... Game's criticism doesn't hold weight because Eminem as an entertainer, supremely entertaining. Look, I'm here. I'm here for any criticism of mainstream media, of major labels, of major outlets promoting white rappers because a majority of America's population is white. I'm here for that criticism. I'm here to hear you say, that's for, that's BS and we need to challenge this and we need to get on top of this and we need to call it out when we see it. But unfortunately, I don't, and as much as I don't like Eminem now in 2022, back in the early 2000s, I mean, the man was supremely entertaining. You can't deny that it, it wasn't Jack Harlow level. You know, they weren't pineapple juice, I feed her sweet, sweet semen. That was not on Eminem's albums. He wasn't rapping like that. So, yeah, look, man, I think this is a, this is a pointless track. Most of this is just... You know, it's just like random references. And I think it would be even more interesting if Game like actually threw some facts in here. So I'm sure he has plenty of stories and stuff that he knows from behind the scenes. Uh, I'm sure he's heard plenty of rumors. We haven't gotten any of that on this. There's no, there's no stuff we haven't heard before. There's no criticisms we haven't heard before of Eminem. Uh, it's just shock tactics mentioning Eminem's daughter, his mother, his half-brother, uh, Kim... You know, these are just, these are lame, tired tropes. These are things that have been trotted out again and again and again against Eminem. It's so pointless. I mean, Eminem's already put all this shit on his own albums. You know, this is basically 8 Mile in the final battle scene where Eminem gets up and he's already said all this shit. I mean, he's even called himself a cultural appropriator on Royce's. He just put out a song with CeeLo Green where he says it. He references Elvis and he compares himself to that. He says it on, um, what's the track? Uh, it might be Without Me. 
use black music to get myself wealthy. Hey, you know, like he that's that's he knows this. He's got a song called White America. Like it's just such a useless song. And to stretch it out for ten minutes. Dear oh dear oh dear. Game's better than this. He's I thought he was anyway. Jeez. Terrible.